right, so it's time to buff. So let's run through kind of the product and the, uh, the process, shall we say. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do though is wipe all of this down. You need to wipe this down first. So we've got blue roll there. And we've got some degreaser over there. Now, I'm going to be going hard, shall we say. So I've got some new quartz mop heads made in Germany. And I do love the crosshatch ones for the first cut. They are quite firm and small, so I'll give a lot of heat nice and quick. So I'll use that one with the red. I'll then use the slightly thicker yellow, you know, a bit more give. That'll go with the yellow compound. And then for final buff, red for the grey compound. Now, with the products that we use, the quartz stuff up there, it's not about how fast you can cut. A lot of other products do contain fillers, but the quartz does not contain filler. Uh, sorry, it has no fillers in it, no silicon in it, no nothing. It's a water-based compound. So what you buff is what you get. First things first, I want to talk a little bit, not too much, but a little bit about what you should kind of wear really when you're buffing. I can't find my goggles anywhere. Should have goggles on, you should definitely have an apron of some description. This is from Dickies to protect you and to protect the car. So compound in the eye is not funny, trust me. So we're gonna start, just wipe everything down first. So make sure that we're nice and clean. Remember, this is a 3000 grip where we finished. Okay, sorry. Okay. Priming the pad, literally all I do is four squirts, that's it. And you want to work in small areas. Low speed. Like so. And just work that compound, not only into the mop, but the panel. Now with the quartz stuff, you really don't need a lot of speed. It works better at low RPM. Right, so when you start getting to edges and corners like this here, you want to roll off the edge. So whatever way this spins, so ours spins that way, so we want to come down on this so it rolls off, not rolls onto. Okay, and you can see we're pretty much out. So we wanna go ahead and prime again move to a slightly different area of the car or wherever it is you're buffing. Same rules apply. Nice and slow. And just work it in. much pressure, use that much pressure, much like the colour sand and it's all about feel.
Okay, so you can see that the quartz compound actually turns back into water, which is cool. Nice uniform passes, looking pretty sweet, I must say. Now what you'll notice is, especially if you've got some good lights, you will see the heat ring. So as you pass, you'll see the heat ring on the outside, like that. Don't be scared to angle it. Do obviously try and keep it as flat as possible. But you can see it just turns back into water. But I love this stuff. Now, how would I go about cleaning? Because you can't just keep going and going and going. Nice and easy. Bottle of water. And I will literally go around like so. Scrub everything down. Go to one side. Onto my apron. Give it a rinse, like so. And then go over what I've just done, sort of cleaning everything as well. And what you want to do when you're finished, degreaser on your microfiber and wipe any excess compound off. That will give you a true reflection and if any more work is needed. Oh, we are motorboating with this thing. Woo! Get in there. I've got to do another pass with the red compound. I've put four dabs of the compound on there. Alright, and just like before, just kind of dot around and then start off on your slow speed. Again, exactly like the, the, the compound before. Right, and just work into that section. Go with one. And these compounds work better at low RPM. Now, gradually pick up some speed. And I'm keeping, still keeping quite firm pressure. I mean, you're not going to be able to see how it's turning over there, but I'll show you. And we'll keep, I mean, we'll keep working this. But hopefully, you can see, see how it's still turning back? Obviously, it's water-based, so it does this. But you can see, that's the compound working, okay, with it like that. And now, if I speed that up... Okay, so that's me running the compound too fast. See, where it starts drying out, right here. And it's all staggered. You're not really working that compound the way it should be. So, I'll reload, because I've done, I'll carry on and do a slow pass here. Then I reload the pad, and then we do a second pass. I'm always two passes on any compound.
you also notice that with the way the mop is, so I've just finished here, you can see <clears throat> that's the surface area of the mop. Just on the outside, so around here and around here, you'll see like drying marks, and that's what's known as like heat rings. So that's another thing to keep an eye out for. So we'll just wipe this off now. And I'm going to make a second pass. Okay, and I'm going to kind of, I'll leave this area, I won't do this area to show you the difference. But this stuff is brilliant. We actually ran out of the quartz, the red stuff that we normally use. And we went and had to go local. <clears throat> and we figured that, we not only did we know, it was a... Uh, expensive but we picked up this I, I don't even know what this stuff is man but my god is it horrible it, it dries super quick it doesn't spread very well it doesn't cut very well it's just it's horrible man really nasty like you know like freckler and and kind of 3m stuff it's um it's not nice. I mean, if you're going to do this properly, and um, this is this is kind of, I suppose where I'm going with this, is you may not be a detailer, and it's hard to be sort of the paint guy and learn how to do detailing as well and learn everything else. But if you can pick up a few tips from detailers, proper detailers, check out Paul Dalton from Miracle Detailing. That, that guy knows his stuff. If you can kind of bring some of that knowledge into this industry, then you're going to be laughing. I've got a, a list as long as my arm of more lighting and uh, different machines and switching different mops and different, you know, maybe trying microfibers, the whole lot just to, uh, to really, you know, stand out and be different. But let's get another pass on the go. <clears throat> so I'm going to do exactly the same four dollops and the pad is loaded so you can see that the pad is loaded and again this is the yellow crisscross with the yellow compound because the thicker yellow ones i normally use they're, they're, they're rubbish so i've got to get some more so again second pass you will work this exactly the same as the first one Okay, <clears throat> so now, ah, damn it, we're on to the grey, and uh, obviously we've already done sort of this here, so, boom, it's alright in it, for white, so now yeah, so now we're on to the grey, or blue, whichever, still the quartz, this is the finishing compound, this compound does have some cutting properties. Like I said, remember, after a pass and whatnot, you need to and want to clean your pad. And that's how easy it is. So, like I said, exactly the same. But you'll see how thick sort of this is compared to the other the other compounds. But principle is still the same. So, start off slow. And just 
just work it into the panel like you normally would. You can go for a slightly bigger area with this. Because like I said, it does. You'd be surprised how far this actually goes. And I've not really got any pressure on it. As such. Sort of letting it do its job. And even though it's the last compound, you still want to do roll off. Roll off, roll off. So load up again, and that's the thing with compounding, it is messy, don't be scared to just dump it in and go, it is a messy, messy game. where you're at so I managed to find a clean microfiber <clears throat> excuse me and as you can see if I do it that way we've got no marks we've got nothing in those lights but reflection and that's quite a good reflection off white off white you know that is nothing to be shy about. In fact, that's a damn near mirror if I go there. Hmm. All about just taking your time, using the right products that you feel comfortable with. I mean, let's face it, I'm not a detailer. Never claimed to be a detailer. It's something I would like to add to the list, but for the minute, we've got enough going on. So, if you use the quartz compounds and you use them with different heads and you do it a different way by all means comment let me know because i don't get a lot of time so every time we sort of use them we kind of hone our skills so this is this seven but in particular as a standox base coat and liquid glass clear so obviously both products very very high quality and then we've gone straight to with a three stage obviously which you saw Blocking by hand. I didn't see it. Do it again. <laughs> Oi! What? I, I wasn't swearing. So, blocking by hand and then using the DA as and when. So, it does take time, but the rewards are a mirror finish of a white car. So, like I said, it's an overall sort of just how I do things. If you want a more in-depth, I do have a few videos that are up, but if there's something specific that you're after, then just comment below and let me know. But for the meantime, we're gonna get on and compound the rest of this and get it ready to go. All right, so I've just pulled it out of the booth now, wiped everything down, and this is what you should have, really, let's face it. A reflection like that off of white now you've got to use good products don't be under any illusion you can just cut and buff your way if the clear coat is no good you won't get it but that's what you should end up with <laughs> 